What's up guys? This is Crazy Wolf 1197 from deviantart.com and welcome to my style. The new thing I just started with this video where I'll sit and talk about how I draw the things I do in detail than just doing a simple speed paint. I also talk about some other things. So, yeah, hopefully y'all like this. Anyway, this first little bit's going to be on sketching. Uh You'll notice in my speed paints that I really don't um, show myself sketching my work. And that is because, one, that process would make each of my videos a little bit longer, and I'm too damn lazy to do a little bit of extra work. So, that's pretty much that. So, I'm going to go into detail in this video, where I'll just pretty much just sit here and talk about sketching. So, uh... Yeah, let's get started, shall we? All right, first things first. What is a sketch? Well, to me, and I say to me because I don't really know textbook definition, because I don't care to know. To me, a sketch is just the basic skeleton of the final piece. Now, whether the sketch is included in the final piece, such as part of it showing, that's up to you as the artist. I don't like to show my sketching or line work for that matter in my most recent pieces, but once again, art is a ex an expression of one's uh, creativity, so of one's own style and interests, whatnot. So if sketching is what you choose to do, more power to you. Anyway, what is sketching? To me, like I said, it's the basic framework, the base platform in which the whole thing is constructed. Um, to me, there's three levels of sketching. You have the first level, which is the the simplest. I guess I can is the best way I can describe it. Very little detail, just like the basic framework such as a person, you know, ah, what am I doing, that's too damn big, oh yeah, that's why, get out of here, resolution, I don't, I need to do this first, anyway, basic, about as basic as you can get the it's very the simplest of skeletons you can do. Say a person, you have just a, a basic circle for the head, a little line here for neck, shoulder, arms, block in the body. Y that's a basic sketch. Very little detail. You may just put like a little circle something where m the main features will go and it's all up to you on what you want to do but to me that is the first level sketch right there just very basic just basically blocking everything in to just get the idea of placement and from there you can go color and whatnot second level is I'm gonna say this early it's a cross between the first level and the third level and I'll explain the third level and you'll see why here in a minute I use the second level uh, mostly it's not too much detail but it's not too little detail it's enough for me to get the idea and what this level would entail is you know y you'll build up if the second's what you do, you'll use the first, because you got to start somewhere to get up to here. So, second level, basically just more detail than in the first. So, say for that very same person to a degree, this would be more or less the second level sketch for 
a person, and at least the head. Anyway. See, I've already, instead of just the circle with a line, just kind of getting placement, I've done where the eyes would go roughly, which would be here and here. And I've kind of just roughed out the, the jawline. Yeah, this is the stuff that I use mainly in my art. But y yeah, you, you get the idea. It's a little bit more detail, but you know it. It's not it. It's not like a Picasso, you know, amazing work. It's still in its basic form, but. Yeah, you get more of an idea as to what's going on in the final thing. And in this second level, you can en encompass where shading's going to be. I don't do th that in the sketching part. I do that kind of on the spot once I get a base color down and put shadows and shades from there. All right. And now the third part is, well, you know, I can use that very same, well, yeah, fuck that. It's going to cancel it. <coughs> ah, fuck. The third level is the most detailed, pretty much. You know, it's certainly not first level, and it's certainly not that second level. It's as detailed as you can go. And this would pretty much be, like, if you were drawing a realistic eye, that is a actually a great way to explain the third level a little bit better it's instead of just blocking it where everything is like second level here this is second level pretty much kind of blocking where everything is going to be roughly the third level would actually go into basically it's a finished drawing but it's still just the sketch So, like the third level here, you would put the eyelashes, you know, you would put the all the shadows here right underneath that particular eyelid, and you would go in even into uh, shading in the pupil area, and better defining the iris. It's a little bit darker on the outside. And then going in on that with as much detail as you can get in that. I know that looks terrible, but I don't draw eyes that way. I'll do that in another video. But that's the third level, pretty much. You, know, you got the first level is just kind of getting the main objects down, the main blocks. The intermediate level is getting somewhere of some of the finer details are going to be, such as eye placement, eye shape maybe, what the hair is doing, um, what clothes are doing, whatever. And the third level is, like you see here, basically you're putting all the detail, every little detail in just the sketch instead of adding in that detail later. That is, those are the main, like the three main levels. This is all just to, just me. I mean, I may be wrong about something like that, but like I said, I don't do textbook. So, yeah. All right. So to better get into how I sketch using Paint Tool SAI here, um, first off, like you saw earlier, I adjusted the resolution of the canvas, the base canvas, to 300, uh, I believe, pixels per inch. Yeah, pixels per inch. That is relatively new. I kind of just started doing that uh, maybe a week ago, just getting into it. But that's first what I do, is that's what I have my canvas set for. Now, the size will vary just kind of depending on the idea of what I want to draw on it. But, yeah. Alright. Next, 
tools. For all my sketching, I use the pencil tool. And I don't... I have never used anything other than. Because it's easy, it's fun, and it makes it feel a little bit more like I'm actually sitting here with my sketchbook and a nicely sharpened Ticonderoga number two pencil and physically sketching it out on actual paper, which is why I like Paint Tool SAI so much is because it yeah, it makes it feel a little bit better. Now I've got my Bamboo Fun tablet with its nifty little pen. I'm rambling again. Oh well. Anyway, I use the pencil and I go to solid black. Anywhere down here, as long as it's touching this bottom line here, perfectly fine. You can have fucking that whatever that is. Doesn't matter. It's going to be black. This is what I always do. And I'm about to contradict myself here, and you're probably going to ask yourself, why doesn't he just do this? Well, I know what you're about to say. Then what I do is I go over here to the right, and you see this cool little opacity bar? I narrow, bring that down to about 50%, which makes it look like that. No, no, you're sitting there thinking, just, as like, I, just like I said, why don't I just get that gray, and it'll look the, exactly the same. Well because I really don't want to do that and two that's just how I've always done it so forgive me anyway let's actually get or uh... losing train of thought um, yeah that's alright that's how I set up anyway that's the basic set up for or set up <laughs> for my sketching now let's get into actually drawing something. All right. After the setup, we'll now go into actually sketching something. Now, obviously, you want to have an idea of what you want to sketch. If you've look, if you've seen some of my art before, uh, I sorry, I stutter a lot. This is new to me. Anyway, if you've seen some of my artwork before, I mainly stick to a particular style that kind of like Spyro the Dragon, kind of cartoonish but realistic sort of vibe, and Spyro is one of my favorite uh, dragons of all time. Primarily Cinder because of her dark side, but that's a whole different story. Anyway, that's that's the style that I do, or I like, no matter what I draw. So, since I like Cinder so much, I'm going to sketch out something for Cinder. Now, I said I use that medium level uh, sketching beforehand and I know that you might say I'm using maybe that third level but that's just because I like Cinder's one of my favorite dragons to draw alright usually with all my drawings I start with the eyes first why I do that I'm not really sure that's just even on pencil and paper that's what I've always done is the eyes first for some reason it helps me get the rest of the head easier and I have that same problem that most of you probably have where I can draw one eye but cannot get the other one right to save my life so you'll notice all my art it's in a uh, kind of looking this way type of thing you know looking not straight at you or just straight to the side it's a little bit of 3d but you know I can alter the other eye it's not as difficult in that sense <coughs> sorry alright so like I said I start with the eyes first and I usually don't place the iris or pupil until after I get the rest of the head figured out so let's just kind of do that next usually what I'll do is I'll start with the snout the nose area I know I just drew this other part in here and I'm not liking that it's not sitting well for me so just come down like this usually before I draw the rest of the front part of the nose, I'll draw that first nostril. 
Most of the time, I'll place the nostrils first just to kind of get uh, better placement as far as everything else goes. Alright, so I'm liking kind of how that's turning out. Usually, I don't put these little guidelines, I just eyeball it, but just to kind of show you, um, I'm giving, the f giving YouTube some love. So I'll, I'll sketch in the nostrils first. I won't put, or the, yeah, around the nostrils. I won't put the actual nostrils in until a little bit later. Alright, next part's the front of the nose, which I'm kind of screwing up on. But for instructional purposes only. Uh, I've heard that a lot in my life so far. I'm just going to stick with that. Now because on, at least in the Legend of Spyro series, Cinder's nose does this kind of rounded thing. This is when I'll usually start maybe putting in where the rest of the mouth is going to kind of go. I know I'm kind of extending her nose, her whole snout there a little bit. And I may have to alter the eye a little bit, but, you know, this is sketching. This is where you... This is the planning stage of anything, pretty much. Actually, come to think of it, I could just bring that down. It doesn't look too bad. And for some reason, I always do this little bit right there. I don't know why. That's what I always do. And while I'm here, I'm going to alter that eye just a little bit. Bring it over here. All right, cool. Kind of like that. Looks just a little bit better. All right. And I'll end the nose right about there. This gives room for those little markings underneath her eyes. Yeah, I'm very familiar with these little marks. They're cool. I want that little marking she has on her shoulder. I want that on my, like, either on my side or on my shoulder as a tattoo because for some reason I like that little symbol that's on her shoulder. Why? I don't know. It probably just I'm, I'm weird like that. Alright, so now that I have the front of the nose down roughly, this is when I can start um, playing with the rest, building up the rest of the entire head from here. So... I'm going to try and give her a little bit of a smile this time. No, I've never I don't really do this part all that much in any of my other drawings with an open mouth. So I know I'm going to fuck this up a little bit, but hey, trial and error. I know you're probably thinking this little bit right over here kind of looks weird. Usually in my sketches, I don't eliminate that old possibility. Because, like I just said, I see it as a, possi a possible fix. And once I'm actually putting in the lines, I can, you know, use it if it looks the best. So I kind of keep all my options available. Because I don't see the reason in not... Alright, so I know this is looking kind of mediocre for Cinder compared to what I do, but <coughs> come on, give me a break. This is just a sketch. I'll fix it in lines. Alright, so I'll just kind of block in the other eye. And this is what I was going on. You might think I'm using the third level. This is still second level to me, because I'm not actually putting in every little detail I can, such as, as I explained it with the eye, you know, I'm not getting how the little design on the eye is going to look, you know, where my highlights are 
shadows are going to be or whatever. That is the big deal with um, how why I'm not using or how I'm not using that second level. really only getting s really only bad in terms of this other eye I'm not liking that but like I said trial and error I can fix it here in a little bit That's looking much better. I'm pleased with that. Yep. All right. Now I'm happy. All right. All right. So I've done a little bit of work here. A little bit more blocked in the uh, marking here on her uh, top of her head. I uh, repositioned the eye, kind of rotated it, which made it look a little bit better. So I'm content as a cucumber on that one. I've also put in where this horn on the side of her head goes. Uh, so right now I'm going to explain the uh, whole level or sketching level thing. You might say that this looks a little bit like uh, the third level, the most detailed part, but to me, this is still second level because I didn't even go as far as um, putting in the sketching or like where a shadow would go right there on that horn, the uh, where some shading would go, some shadow right there, whatever, kind of better to find where the horn starts on the top of her head. That is really kind of the bigger difference between the two levels even though they do appear to be the same they're not and this is the best way I can explain it it's still it's certainly not first level it's not just a simple circle with maybe a rectangle here or something here just to kind of block in where the nose is uh, a little s a rough where the eye is gonna look it's still that middle level where I can still add a lot of detail but I have enough to um, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? I can't even think straight. It's enough to get the picture across. Basically I have all the major details but none of the fine details that I'll add in later when I do the um, line work and coloring, shading, shadows, etc. But yeah, this is basically the finished sketch for me. Now, <coughs> depending on you as the artist, like I said before, you know, go all out on your sketch. That's completely up to you. Just l or leave it as a simple circles and major blocks for the major features you know that's all you that's your thing this is my thing this is what I do to start off any piece for me is you get me you gotta start somewhere you know a masterpiece doesn't come out of just nothing I mean I can't really say that looking back in history but y you still gotta start somewhere All right, I'd say I'm pretty much done here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you like this video. If not, you know, 
that's all you. This is my first time really doing this or doing a how-to video. I'm still getting used to talking on a mic, which is the first time I've actually recorded and uh, kind of explained a little bit how I do things. Um, please visit my page or my DeviantArt. Like I said before, it's Crazy Wolf One One Nine Seven. I'll have a link in the description below. You know, just check out some of my art. Leave a comment if you want, telling me how I could do better or what I didn't do enough, or what I need to do less or do differently. You know, any help I can get, you know, I'll happily take it. Uh, com comment on this video about what I can do better in terms of recording. I know one of the major things is be prepared because I just kind of spontaneously did this at 5 in the morning. And no, I have not gone to bed yet. And I've been up since uh, around 2 yesterday. So, yeah. Please do all that. And uh, hopefully um, new artists, hopefully this works out for you. All right. Thank you. You have a good day. One more thing real quick. Please forgive the mediocre uh, video editing job that you have just watched. I'm using Windows Movie Maker, and I've never actually used it before until whenever I started posting speed paints. So, just to get that clear, thank you.